Tonga, which would probably add another few hundred kilos of weight behind the larger one. Certainly by looking at the length of the horns, the larger one having the longer horn. It's almost exactly like a boxing match where the one with the longer arms has a better reach. A better possibility. The, uh, the only benefit in having a shorter horn is he's got more control over it. And he can get into those tighter areas. This female is very, very close in feeding this larger bull, possibly showing a possible siding with the larger bull. See the male. You see what he just did there. Just sort of pushed her very, very nicely. I mean, he could have done it quite aggressively if you look at the situation. He just sort of moved his head to the side and sort of just said, just be careful here. Just push a little bit and make a bit of distance here. Look at that. All three. Similar in age. I wonder. They look very similar in age. I wonder if they... No, they can't be. I was just thinking if they come from the same female, but that's not possible. Twins in Rhino are very few and far between. I don't know how often it's happened. Might be brother and sister and old big another male is trying to sort of take this female away but no it's not that's not the case still getting it sister we'll stay with them for a little bit longer and then uh, we'll see if we can follow up on those lion tracks uh, back on central road if they cut south or north Texan didn't seem to see them this morning. He drove over them. So we'll uh, we'll go back and see if they either head down onto Nyala Road South, Vulture's Nest, or Hyena Road. We'll see if they whichever way they go. Rhino. He blowing my nose. Give it another five minutes. As I said, this might go on all day. They have to stop and feed in between this to make sure they get their regular intake of grass. They've got to make sure. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to carry on for too long. They've, otherwise, they'll become completely exhausted. Might go into shock. Luckily, luckily enough that it is in winter and it's nice and cool, so they don't risk standing out in the hot sun in summer.
bit of a bashing during this. Quite a bit of blood flowing between the two. And uh, part of a rhino's evolution or adaption when needing to fight is that there is not there is not a lot of blood travel and 